Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are live with Expresso ahead of a bumper weekend of sport, most notably for the Mother City. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Continuing with our interview on the world famous Cape Town cycle tour taking place this weekend. We are joined by two very special participants, former Minister of Community Safety and now the current Premier of the Western Cape, Alan Windy, and former Springbok, Davette Barry, to tell us about how their prep is going, a certain charity, the Atlas Foundation, how important it is to use an event as a platform to launch that sort of activity. Gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome to the show, Alan. Thanks so much for taking time out of a very, very busy schedule. Or would this be training time? Would, would you normally be on the bike at this time? Uh, I wish. Uh, too much government, too little cycling. So uh, I think as usual, uh, as everybody knows me, I'll be under-trained. But that doesn't matter. This is, uh, this is a charity event. I mean, there will be a couple of people racing. And I'm really glad to see that the event itself is becoming much more about who you ride for yes. than the time you're trying to achieve. And maybe it's because I'm getting older that that fits better with me. But, uh, but I mean, that's really important. Why do you do this? And then this event specifically, it's just, it, there's so many charities and good causes that people are out there doing something for them. And, of course, we are there for the Atlas Foundation. David, how's prep going? How are you feeling? Um, definitely much better than last year. Last year, <laughs> Sue gave me a call about two weeks in advance. So I said yes. I made a few couple of calls and said, listen, can you make it? I said, yes, you're going to suffer, but you'll make it. <laughs> you'll do it. So I'm a little bit better um, prepared, obviously. And it's fantastic, as Alan's saying. You know, we're doing it for the Atlas Foundation. You know, coming from a rugby background, it's easy for me to fill in, you know, and using rugby as a tool to help a lot of kids in South Africa and over the rest of the world, you know. And then I'm sure there were a number, like you said, there are so many organizations putting their hand up around this time. Why the Atlas Foundation? Why, why is this particular foundation and charity so important, do you think? Well, I know that the Atlas Foundation does amazing things around the world. They operate in 16 countries, but yeah, in South Africa, they do great stuff in Gauteng. But for me, it's about the Western Cape. Um, last year, when I was first approached, um, doing stuff for Masipumulele, uh, Ocean View and Atlantis and so that really says to me this is this is helping people in need and, and if you listen to the kind of work that they do at school um, with children teaching values around sport which ends up giving you a better chance in your education outcomes it's it's there's no it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer and it gives us an opportunity I think that's the one thing when I did the Argus also was about a day's preparation I remember I didn't even think about the race until about 30 k's in because it's so beautiful and the camaraderie and I remember and, a, 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 you know, someone a, thankfully a good Samaritan on the side of the road telling me that my bike had an issue with the gears and helping <laughs> me fix it and that guy who ran out with the, the boiled potatoes at the end of the race to, to help fill me up up Sekobosi there's something about the community of cycling as a sportsman how important is that to use sport and that community of sport to do something good no for sure I mean you learn very quickly in rugby or in any sport that's a team sport yeah um, the values you spoke about, um, and the disciplines, you know, and that's something you can take further in your life. And if we can install that into the young children through the Atlas Foundation and through sport, um, I think that's the, that's the important part, so that we can educate and give the young um, talent of today um, so that they can look after the future for us. And then I, I just over kind of, I feel overwhelmed by the sense of pride from an event like this because this is our city and our province. You must feel that exponentially more. How proud are you of Cape Town for building a race to this degree? I know it's 109 kilometers of grueling effort, but it's an opportunity to show the rest of the world what, what Cape Town really is. Well, I mean, maybe we should start off where did this come from? And of course, remember, it started off as a protest because it was about how do we get people onto bicycles and, and that relationship on, on commuting and on between, between uh, road users normally in cars and road users on two wheels on a bicycle. And I mean, now you move on and it is still the biggest timed cycle race in the world. Um, so, I mean, proud, we, we, we're on the top and we have been for a long time as a global platform. Um, but also what this has done as a catalyst to so many other cycle events and uh, you know, I, I like to say that we're the cycling capital of Africa. And uh, so it's the big events, and this is like the catalyst that, the that anchors man. all of them. But uh, maybe I just want to say one other thing. When you talk about sport and you spoke about Devet, I heard something as we walked in here. Um, you should ask him about his bike. What about your bike, man? What's going on, dude? Well, um, <laughs> I had a little bit of an issue. 
on Tuesday. Uh, so the bike made like click, click, click the whole time. So I took it back and then I said, well, there's something wrong with the frame, you know, they suspect. So um, <laughs> It's that rugby I, I was, player's Yeah, bulk. I was supposed to get another bike last night. Um, but uh, hopefully this afternoon. Any, any willing <laughs> callers, put your hands up, gentlemen. Um, I hope it, this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt you've, you've got that Springbok BMT. I, you can put uh, you on a BMX and you'll do uh, this. No, 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 I doubt that, but um, I'll try my best. <laughs> um, Alan, thank you so much for, for putting your might behind the Atlas Foundation, what they're doing, and, and kind of really fronting up to, to support your city in this way. All the best of luck. The most important thing, stay safe out there. Um, get a buddy rider to, to keep you company and enjoy it. It's one of the most enjoyable experiences, I think, that, that any cyclist can, can put themselves through. So stay safe and enjoy the race, man. Thank you very much. And that Thank goes you. for all cyclists taking part in the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Take a moment to appreciate just how amazing that opportunity is and put your voice out there. This is an opportunity to give foundations like the Atlas Foundation a huge platform to have their voice heard, so use it.